Hey, welcome back everybody. This is another TTM video. We get autographs, TTM, through the mail. We've got eight today. Uh, we know one of them because they put their uh, return sticker on the back, but um, we'll just do them in the order we received them this week. We've got eight, all cards it looks like. First one coming from Santa Ana, California. Who do we know from Santa Ana? Don't know, it feels awfully thin. What one card, no index cards, no hard card. Jim Campanis, catcher, Royals. Didn't know he played for the Royals. Dodgers and Pirates. Didn't know he played for the Royals, maybe briefly. But uh, Jim Campanis, catcher. That's maybe his rookie card. I'm not sure. 69 tops. Jim's dad, the director of scouting for the Dodgers. Signed his son to a contract. That's pretty cool. Best known for, probably for being the son of Al Campanis. Dodger Scout signed Sandy Koufax and Roberto Clemente. Then he got into a little trouble on with Ted Koppel in the late 80s for saying some statements. Probably weren't his character at all. It turns out he's was a nice guy, but Jim Campanis... Son of Al is also the father of Jim Jr., who played on the uh, 88 Olympic team. He's in the 88 Tops Traded. So I sent those out the same day. So let's see. It's been a while for Jim Sr. 60, 70, 84, 84 days for Dad. Still waiting on Jimmy Jr. All right. Next up from Nova. Nova Gova. Not from Jay Novacek. Hey, there's Sweet Pea, Roy Jefferson. His usual, giving him his highlights of his career. He was a really great player. Kind of broke my own rule here. Got him back in June. Let's see if he signed that quad card. We just saw the Marie, Mar Media Marauder get this back just the other day. Had to send that quad card out. Roy Jefferson, Ted Qualick signed it already. Probably send it to Harold Jackson next. And then to Bob Tucker. We can get all four of those guys on a 50, what, two-year-old card? 50-year-old card? He sent That's his uh, own card there. Gives his highlights three times in the Pro Bowl. And that's a, kind of a new 75 tops replica. So that's cool. Wears out those Sharpies. Three times Pro Bowl, Sweet P on the 69 tops there. 68, 69, all pro, three-time Pro Bowl. Really cool return. Not upset that I sent him, uh, let's see, I got him back mid-June, I guess. So that'd be three months. Not very upset. I think he may have dropped five bucks in there, too, because of the uh, fact that I sent to him again so soon. Usually wait at least six months. That's my general rule. Did he sign my note? No, he didn't. But I want to get that quad card done, so whatever you have to do. Five bucks for his trouble. Greenville, South Carolina. So Roy Jefferson was putting up in those stats. He had 450 catches and 7,000 yards in an era where, you know, definitely weren't passing. Jim Ferry didn't sign the note card, the index cards. He did sign that Billingham rookie in that 68 tops off the Jack Billingham next, who signs for... $5 fee, I believe. Ferry played for uh, six seasons, 68 to 73 for the Dodgers and Expos. Really uh, quick return, eight days. He's 77 years old now. Played outfield and uh, pinch hit a lot. Send it off to Jack Dillingham next. Sweet Pea was eight days as well. Next up, Baltimore. And man, this thing got sliced right in half. Taped it back together. <laughs> he uh, must have did like I did with my letter opener and just cut right through it. Oh, there's Ozzy. Yes, I saw some people getting back. Tony Black got him back yesterday, I believe. And there's that rookie. Oh, yeah. That's my first Ozzy rookie. And then the 85 tops looks great, too. 79 tops. That's the first time. A lot of other people have that card. I saw Media Marauder got that back to two in one day. I thought I'd try to get it myself rather than purchase it from him. 
gave me a decent offer. It's fun to go after them yourself sometimes. I thought I'd give it a shot. It's been out there for a while. That's the thing with Ozzy. You might be waiting for a while, but you'll get it back. Hall of Famer signs for free. 1980s all-decade team. He's, what, 65 years old now? Let's see, 30 plus 55 days. 55 days, no fee for Ozzy. This is the man we know who it is, Ed Flanagan. If it's him, it should be. It's obviously him, but I just recently, I mean, I just sent this out. Did not sign the note card. Signed his two rookie cards, 70 tops. Puts his 54 in this G swoop. Really good player, unheralded player, underrated. That 70 tops is his rookie. And that's the only card I had of him. So that's the first time we've sent to him, but it's about five days. I mean, I seriously just mailed it out. Five days. 77 years old as well. Former center. He played for 12 seasons for the Lions and then ended up two with the Chargers at the end of his career, but four times in the Pro Bowl. Nobody talks about him, but uh, he was a great player. He was also a coach in the USFL after his playing days. Five days, no fee. Next up, Los Angeles, Cali. I'm going back to Cali. Ooh. Uh-oh. Hey, he did sign it. <laughs> Rosie Greer. Michael, thank you for the nice letter. Appreciate God is the center of my life. I wanted to please him in all that I do. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen, brother. He doesn't get old. And he does not change. If you would like more autographs, you can send $30 to Rosie Greer. Thank you for the donation. Love, Rosie. Sweet. <laughs> oh, I had this 58, 59, whatever year that is. Oh, man. Looks great. Rosie Greer. Hadn't seen many returns from him. That may be a facsimile there on that one. There's his foundation. If you want to pause it, you can read that. Great player. Became a minister and a singer and an author after his playing days. Yeah, that's a facsimile signature on that. NFL alumni. That's a real signature on that one. His archives. Oh, <laughs> That's his rookie card there, that 56, I guess. Let us name the 58. Wow. Great return from Rosie Greer. He's getting up there in age. He's 89 years old. Defensive tackle. Played for 12 seasons from 55 to 66 for the Giants. And then he became a member of the Rams. And he was a member of that fearsome force of defensive line with uh, Deacon Jones, Merlin Olsen. Rosie Greer, and the fourth one was who? Oh. Um. Oh. Lamar Lundy. Lamar Lundy, Merlin Olsen, Deacon Jones, and Roosevelt Gear. Fearsome foursome. One of the best defensive lines in history. Three times an All-Pro. He was a great player. Roosevelt Greer. Doesn't get many much recognition as a player because of what he's done so much after his playing days. But he's 89 years old. 14 days with the fee. Ernie Mack, St. Louis, Missouri. Look at that signature. He puts a little smiley face in his E. Been waiting on this one. That's his rookie card there. And on the 74 tops. Very nice. Got his son back not too long ago, Eric McMillan, who was a Pro Bowl D-back in the late 80s and early 90s. I don't want to cover that rosy. Let's put those two right together. They probably played against each other. I'm sure they did. He was a left tackle. He was a defensive tackle, so I'm sure they had some battles. Wow, that's pretty cool. Ernie McMillan. Uh, 15 seasons. Talk about great player. Unheralded. He played from 61 to 75, all of which for the St. Louis Cardinals. Four times in the Pro Bowl himself. Been waiting on that one for a while. Let's see. One, two, three months. 97, eight, nine days. 99 days. No fee. Ernie Mack. Sweet. Last one, Cleveland, Ohio. Really happy with these. Not Hall of Fame players, but they're really great players in the annals of NFL history. I just got my note back again. They signed my note. That's pretty cool. To Mike, JMJ, Go Irish, Jerry Faust. Of course, if you grew up in the 80s, you know that JMJ stands for Jam Master J. <laughs> One of the leads of Run DMC. 
JMJ, he must have been a big fan of uh, Run DMC, Coach Faust. <laughs> Which, of course, it's <laughs> Jerry Faust, I'm sure, is a very staunch Catholic, and that stands for uh, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, the, the uh, Holy Family. He put them on the cards, too. JMJ to Mike, Go Irish, Jerry Faust, blue ink there, black ink there. This Notre Dame set. He doesn't have a card in the Notre Dame set, so I sent a picture of the stadium where he coached, and then he coached in 82. Big victory over the Panthers at Pitt. That's really cool. That's not that run, DMC. I was just being chick, 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 chick. <laughs> to Mike. Uh, you to do it for you. Great to do it for you. God bless Jerry Faust. Pretty cool. Got that back pretty quick too. <laughs> Another five days. Five day return. Coach of Cincinnati Moeller. It's unbelievable there. Um, and then he went to Notre Dame for about four or five years. And then he went to University of Akron for about 10 years. Great coach. Got uh, Saul Tony Black. Got that one back as well. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hey, what do you think? One, two, three, four, eight returns. Really great players in the history of football. That's the way I like it. Old school. Like that Aussie rookie. Which one was your favorite? Let me know down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscription button and then hit ring that bell and you'll be notified of all my future videos. I'll have another TTM video this week, probably. Mail day video on Friday. And of course, I'm giving away this um, Johnny Edwards card. We'll find out who wins that probably tomorrow. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.